Hello, and welcome to the St Albans Clock Tower, the only medieval town belfry in England. After climbing the clock tower's 93 very narrow and steep steps, you are treated to a beautiful view of St Albans. Using a scientific method of dating wood by looking at tree growth rings found in the timber of the tower's floor joists, we can tell that the tower was most likely built quickly, before being completed in 1405. No one knows exactly why the clock tower was built, but it is thought that it was constructed as a symbol of resistance by the townspeople from the power of the Abbot of St Albans. With their own clock and bell, they could regulate their day without relying on the Abbey. Over the last 600 years, the clock tower has been used for a variety of businesses, including a printer and stationer, a draper, a shoemaker, a post office, a pawnbroker, a butcher, a telegraphic station, and even an alehouse. In the 1870s, James Walklake took over the lease and ran his harness making and saddler's business for nearly 30 years. His son, Edward, carved his name into the parapet at the top of the tower, which can still be seen today. Many carved names and initials spanning centuries can be found all over the clock tower. The oldest, 1709 ZM, can be seen in the clock room and refers to one of the clock tower's tenants, Zachariah Mountford. The largest collection of etchings on the tower can be seen on the stone around the door at the top. Have a look now and see if you can make any of them out. You are now hearing the one ton, 46 inch diameter bell that rings on the hour, every hour, in the clock tower. A Latin rhyming couplet around the bell's circumference can be translated as, from heaven I came, Gabriel my name. Gabriel used to be rung at 4 a.m. to wake the local apprentices for work, and again in the evening for curfew when all fires were to be extinguished and all lights put out. The bell was last swung over a century ago, in 1901, for the funeral of Queen Victoria. As the frame is old and fragile, it is now only rung by being struck on the side. I'll leave you to enjoy the sunset now, as local historian Charles Ashdown wrote in 1893, what a magnificent view of town and country lies before us. The clock tower is open to the public on weekends and bank holidays from Good Friday until the end of September. You will be welcomed by volunteers from the St Albans and Hertfordshire Architectural Society and the St Albans Civic Society.